like damn, she in her mood. She lit, your money too. Like damn, she in her mood. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. Ain't you packing out nobody's pants? He a rapper, but don't got a chance. Sucking my waist, so I'm loving my beans. Like a million views in a day. I forget to make up the camera. Like, here we are. You guys are a little like down. Nothing to discuss, cause I did by fault and without any doubt. I'm a me, 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 i am a me Hey guys, so we're always recording in my car for some reason. I don't know what that is about.
Shawty, you tried to Voice getting filled with entitlement Why would you tell me those lies? Why would you make it so old to my face? Why are your stories all over the place? Whole lot of secrets friends don't see shit Where did your friends all go? So, we have this very large mirror, and I've been like looking it up in the mirror. It's a solo night, you know, sometimes those are just the best things and pretty much I'm mostly by myself most of the time, so this is cool. I'm gonna take you guys with me and I'll catch back with you. Small town, 
So it's not much, honestly, there is a small city. It's not much to do there. It's very like much just kind of country style living. If you want to raise a family, have a family, do that whole just traditional lifestyle, that's kind of like what you, you, you'd stay there for. And like most of the people that I grew up with, they are young, married with kids. And so that's kind of like, you know, you're gonna live in Detroit, that's what you would do. And I've never lived anywhere else. I've lived there my whole life until I moved. And we'll get into that as well. The next question is, how many siblings do I have? So I have four brothers. I'm the only girl. I have one brother on my dad's side, three brothers on my mom's side. So yes, I've never had a sister. I've always kind of like wanted to know what that was like to just like, have a sister experience that, but I never did, so. Yeah, I'm the only girl, fortunately. Okay, so the next question is, do I have any pets? Yes, I do have one dog. He is a toy poodle, his name is Bentley. You guys will meet him in soon, eventually, obviously. You will meet him and see him in the vlogs as well, so. He's about seven months now. I've had him since he was about eight weeks. So yeah, he's my baby, he's my first baby. He is my second dog that I've had. I only have one now. The next question is, where do I live? Currently, I live in Dallas, Texas. I've been living in Dallas about almost, I would say, four and a half years. The next question is, did I go to college? So, yes, I did first go to community college for physical therapy. Dropped out first semester, that was not my passion. My passion obviously is fashion, um, beauty. I did end up going to school about almost three years later for dental assisting. So I'm a certified dental assistant. And so once I finished that, I would say a couple months later, I kind of applied to to take a job in Dallas. It's the first place that offered me a job. So that's why I ended up moving to Dallas. I don't think Dallas is my forever home. It's a for now home. Eventually I would want to go to maybe Florida and then California, but that would be it. But for now, I love Dallas for what it is. It's a great city, lots of things to experience and you know learn from here. So the next question is, do I have any kids? No, I don't have any kids. I possibly maybe want kids. So I don't know if that will happen. We will see if I get married. The next question is, am I in a relationship? Um, uh, yeah, you know. No, actually, no. I'm not in a relationship because I am single and still married. So there is no, there's no ring on my hair. There's no ring on my finger. I'm single. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, let me stop playing. I have a situation. He's amazing for now. And I'm dating. I'm young. I'm having fun. I'm obviously, I'm at that point where maybe possibly I want to get married. Actually, yeah, I'm lying. <laughs> I do want to get married. So, I, I, yeah, that's just what I got. Like, I want kids. And I'm a married woman. I will obviously talk about those kids. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know how you're going to that question, but yes. I'm dating, <laughs> I will say. The next question is do I have any talent? Okay, so you guys obviously see there is a piano behind me. I am learning to play the piano because I did grow up kind of almost as close to playing the piano. Um, my grandmother was trying to teach me, didn't stick with it. It's something, a bit of a hobby that I want to have now. So I'm trying to pick it up and learn how to do it now. So I, I guess that is kind of like one thing. What, why do I even remember what it said? Yeah, sport. But yeah, I don't think it's a sport. But I do work out a lot. And none of that's not a sport, but I do want to pick up tennis. So that's something that I want to do. But at the moment right now, I just work out and do Pilates and I play the piano. <laughs> if that's considered a sport. Favorite food. I eat everything. 
thing, obviously I'm from Louisiana, so we like anything with any flavor, sauce, kind of like seafood, Cajun, hell, I eat anything, y'all. Like, literally, I know what this will look like it for y'all. I will literally eat anything. Like, anything. So, do I have a favorite food? I don't think I do. Because I eat it all. Put it in front of me and I can eat it. No, I, I'm not gonna say anything, but, you know, anything. But next question is, am I outgoing or shy? I think I'm a bit of both, honestly. I'm an introvert, mostly, but I can be an extrovert if need be. But I do like to go out every now and then and just meet random people. Like, I go out by myself a lot. And that's also a bit of like social networking that I'm trying to like utilize and do that with also trying to make friends. So I am a bit of both outgoing and shy, but definitely more introvert, more chill. The next question is, what was my childhood like? Okay, so I, I would say I grew up in a middle class home. I didn't want for anything. I kind of was spoiled being an LC on the girl. Um, yeah, I had a really good childhood. Like, played a lot outside, did a lot of activities. My mom had me in a lot of sports. I was in cheerleading and gymnastics, so I did tumbling, so all those things in dance. Those things were just so fun to me, and I did that for a bit. And until I had, I would say, like, preteen, you know, around like 13, 14, 15, kind of got tired of doing that, kind of just found my own path and love for like style and fashion in. And so my dad did die when I was young, so that did shape kind of my childhood in a way at that point. Up until then, definitely was that very lively and just out all the time and just, you know, always with friends and just out, you know, and then obviously when my dad died, things did change and you know, I still had a great childhood, but I was a little more reserved, a little more quiet, a little more like chill. Um, yeah, I kind of went through that streak when I turned 16, got my first car, my first relationship, you know, my real core set of friends, and I was just out all the time, you know, like I was never home, like I was wilding out, like I'm not gonna lie, like I was going past curfew, I was sticking out, like I was just doing the most. Like, I obviously I was around, probably not the best people. Yeah, my mom, she was tough on me. You know, but I was, up until that point, I was pretty much like the good girl, the good child, you know, made good grades. Then it was a rough patch. My mom was very strict on me, like, because I was acting out and doing things out of the ordinary, but I was trying to find myself in the midst of it. And I don't regret it. it I had a bit of like every different experience in my childhood. Some good, some bad, um, but that's kind of like how I was raised. And I guess you could say it is somewhat of the place I am now because I get to get to enjoy some things when I was young, trying to be grown. Now I'm a little more chill, you know, like I like to do a nice little, you know, drink at a bar, go out to eat, <laughs> you know, go to drink, that's it. No clubs, I did all that. Sneaking out, going to the club, I did all that in my childhood when I was like 14, I feel like I'm 17. Like y'all, I was, yeah, it was a little fast. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little fast too, so. But I'm calm now. Next question is, do I drink? I'm a very light drinker, I'm not a heavy drinker at all. I don't like, to, you know, drink heavy stuff. Y'all, I don't know who asks these types of questions. I should have proofread this before I get this. Okay, because this is not making sense. Do people ask these types of questions? They don't want it to be when I grow up. When I grew up. Well, so originally I wanted to be a singer. Crazy, right? Yes, I wanted to be a singer, y'all. And obviously because I named after the Hubby Jackson, I just thought like, oh, I'm that, that girl. So yeah, like I have this very tall dream, and man, who knows? So yeah, when I grew up, I wanted to be a singer. I actually auditioned for The Voice when I was about, I don't know, 14, 15. And obviously I didn't make it, but
But yeah, kind of got discouraged after that. Didn't do voice lessons, guitar lessons, and you know, kind of wanted to take it serious after that, but didn't kind of got confused and I kind of gave up on. But now that I'm older, it is something that I still very much love. So I, if not, at least I think I'll do it as a hobby. And who knows, maybe take up voice lessons. And so it's kind of sort of the reason why I do, I, I am also learning to play the piano, so I want to write music. But yeah, that was my childhood dream. And it kind of still lives in there sometimes. Who knows, maybe one day I may take advantage of it sooner than later. But right now I'm just focusing on YouTube. The YouTube was also a childhood dream of mine that I'm actually doing. So I'm happy about that and that's a good blessing to have. What I love about myself. What I love about myself is I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> I love how sincere I am. I love how vulnerable oh, I love how strong I am. And I love how fucking fly and stylish I am. Like, and that's just something I love about myself. Like, I love how stylish I am and how creative. I love art and beauty and just things. What's a turn on? Hmm. Are you talking about like a man or like in general? <laughs> turn on in a guy? I don't know. These are gonna turn me off. I'm sorry. Yo, cause what is this? Oh, have I ever been in love? Yes, once. I have been in love once when I was 16. That was my first love. And although, you know, yeah, it make it to that your puppy love, but no, I, yeah, that was, that was love to me. Everything else is, is pretty much been must. I think I'm in love now, but I think, who knows? I'm trying to see. <laughs> One of the questions was, what's my sexual orientation? Straight. I like me and yeah, I like straight like, but I'm trying to figure it out, y'all. I'm trying to wrap this up. What is my favorite type of music? That's the next question. I like a mix of everything. More so now, I'm not on the line, I'm listening to more R&B and gospel. I used to be a very heavy trap girl. What is my favorite color? I'm wearing it pink. But the next question is, how tall am I? I am 5'3", on the cusp of 5'4". I like to say 5'4", confuse me. I'm, they all I'm small. I don't know why, but in pictures, everyone says I look taller than what I am. They all are tiny, like I am, I am tiny but see. And what type of bin do I like? I'm simple, y'all. Like, looks aren't important to me. As long as you dress nice, smell nice, you treat me well with respect, you have a great relationship with your family, you don't have any trauma, you're told from that, or in therapy, like, I'm simple in what I would what I'm attracted to and what I would look for in someone and it's characteristic traits. That's, that's it, like, the characteristic traits have to be there for me to be desired by everything else, if that makes sense. Do you follow me? Follow me. Because, yeah, who your character is as a person is the most important. I'm not gonna lie, it's like the most beautiful. But these things, I like a corporate man. I like a business man. Just be good to me. Treat me like a princess. Okay, so the next question is, have I ever got my heart broken? Yes. And I haven't been in that many relationships. And I have been heartbroken maybe like three, four times and I've only been, <laughs> been in one serious relationship. Two. But one. And yeah, I got my heart broken and it has sucked y'all and it's terrible, but you know what? I still believe in love. I'm still hopeful that I will have that fairy tale love if I believe in it. And you can have anything that you believe in, you want and you desire. So yeah, I've been heart broken and it's not fun. I don't recommend it. Very ghetto. This time around I'm very like particular and I pay attention to things and you know. If, if I see things that are red flags, I'm, I'm out. 
So yeah, I've been heartbroken this time around. I'm not gonna lie, get heartbroken. This time around, I'm trying to find forever, or forever is gonna find me. And that's just, that's just where we going with life. <laughs> so yeah, I've been heartbroken. I think everyone has, and everyone will be. You, you can't go through life and not be heartbroken. That's how you have experiences and you learn and you grow. I'm going to be heartbroken again. I'm going to be happy this time, okay? And you know what? Some of these questions I'm kind of like answering within another question that I'm answering. So it's kind of like all over the place and that's kind of why it did. I don't, I don't, I don't make this kind of just, I'm just making content for y'all. I'm doing the best I can. Mm -hmm. Sorry, y'all. Somebody was texting me. <laughs> Foolishness. It's worse than y'all. This is the worst Q&A ever. You don't even know something, right? Just something. It's better than nothing. You know what? Because the next one, honestly, I might be like a spicy Q&A or something. Because this one is more so like a place that gets on me. Ain't much to know. This me. Okay, y'all, because we're gonna wrap this up real soon because this is the third time I came in and I will end it with this question is, and I love this question, it is, what is my channel going to be about? I want my channel to be about life and luxury and beauty, real life challenges and day ins and day outs of like, travel and shopping and food and spending time with family and love and just all the creation life has to give. I want to share that. I really want to show the experiences behind the scenes of what it is to try to build something and hopefully it will inspire you to want to do the same thing for your life. And I'm excited for what I have in store I'm going to share with you guys. And you know, I'm really getting better at picking up the camera and recording. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being so patient. I promise at this point, I'm going to be consistent. You guys will get weekly videos. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching this Q&A. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog for what my life has been like since January to now. I'm not staying, I just want to play. In the party, he just want to romp.